and two years ago, the world's strongest man in Holland. Welcome all the spectators of Eurosport. We are here now at the moment at the east side of the Netherlands in the center of Hardeberg for the strongest team of the world contest. Ten teams from different countries will be fighting here for the honor. Hello, good evening, a big warm welcome to, as Ronald Wusterberg said there, the world strongest team championship 1998. Nine teams from around the world, two representing the Netherlands, and we're coming from Hardenburg on the east of the Netherlands, as Ronald said. And we've got eight spectacular events lined up for you tonight. Twenty supreme athletes as well. Our first event tonight will be the triple truck pull. And just to fill you in, we have the English team in action here against the Finns to start off with. There's the English pair, Jamie Reeves and uh, Bill Pittock. And they are really up against it because they are going up against the Finns. More of them a bit later. This is an overarm pull. And it's three trucks each weighing 1,200 kilograms, sorry, 12,000 kilograms. Must be pulled over a distance of 15 metres in a maximum time of 90 seconds. They're looking to be the quickest pair. Wait for the signal, there's the whistle. Well, 24.91 for the Brits. That is beatable. So the reigning world champion then we have in action here, Yuko Awala, 26 years of age, and he's pulling with uh, Sami Heinonen. And there's the whistle. Well, 21.97, well inside the English team's time. Here's uh, the Dutch second side. Netherlands two, we will call them. And Gert Gerritz, 33 years of age. And uh, Jano Hams, 23 years old from Romshop. And of course, massive support for these Dutch sides. It's the first one to go in our first event. And that's a very good time, 21.53. And that's put them at the moment in first place. And they're happy with that. And our South African side now, Gert Badenhorst on the left of the picture. And of course he is partnered by the other South African, Wayne Price. He's 30 years of age, and here's Barden Horse, a real character. Seen him a few times before. He's 35 now, and probably at his peak, 22.44 there. Not a great time. And here we go for Germany. Heinz Olesch, the bearded German in action. And the efforts required to do this must be unbelievable. Martin Muir, his pulling partner, 26 years of age, five years younger than uh, Olesch. And not a bad time there at all for the Germans, 22.47. And these are the Faroe Islanders. Interesting pair. Megan Vagadal, we've seen him before, he's only 27. And we've got uh, a replacement, Peter Baltus, he's uh, 26, and he's actually in for an injured compatriot who couldn't make it of course because of the injury but that's not a bad time there for the Faroe Islanders don't have too many people to pick from of course and here we have the very strong Swedish side Magnus Samuelsson of course it's only 28 Samuelsson and uh, Torbjorn Samuelson as well, 25 years of age, both come from Kiza. And 
And uh, here are the Norwegians, Sven Carlsen and uh, Sterla Davison. And the effort, once again, required to do this pull is something quite amazing. Three trucks, 12,000 kilograms, pulled over 15 meters in a maximum time of 19, 90 seconds. Here are the favourites for the contest. These are Netherlands 1, as we will call them. And Baron Vandenberg, 34 years of age. And he's partnered by Wout Silstra, and he's 33. And these are undoubtedly... Well, there you are. That signifies their favouritism for this team championship for 1998. Superb pulling, then, for Netherlands 1. And that's a great time to beat. A very difficult time to beat. Well, the Hungarians trying exceptionally hard there, as you can see. And that's not a bad time there from the Hungarians for Ketty Laszlo, we've seen him before, and uh, Matanos Tibor. Well, they know it wasn't the best, but not bad. So there you are then. After the truck pull, Holland full, 10 points. Sweden in second, Norway third. England, a pretty dismal... 10th position there, with only one event on the scoreboard so far. Holland 2 doing well. Well, now we have the loading, and uh, England this against the Faroe Islands. There's the Englishman. And uh, this is six different blocks that are going to be loaded onto a truck over a distance of six metres. And the time stops when the team has loaded the blocks. Now, one man could do them all, or... Two teams can work at the same time. And these blocks, by the way, weigh 120 kilograms. And that is some weight. And Bill Patuk, 35 years of age, feeling the pace here. Our second team then to go, South Africa against Germany. Martin Muir, only 26 years of age, against the South African. And the South Africans, of course, real characters. They've endeared themselves uh, to these crowds. Well, Wayne Price there, and Geert Badenhorst, once again, always getting a good clap from the crowd. Now, Finland-Hungary, this is an interesting one. The Hungarians there in the light blue shirts against the Finns. The Finns well fancied for this tournament as well. Fekete Laszlo of Hung Hungary, 40 years of age, one of the uh, senior members of this championships. And they're struggling. So the Hungarians then struggling. And now Netherlands 2 against the Norwegians. And this is a fascinating contest. And, well, not surprisingly, look at that, picking it up as if it didn't even exist. This Dutch team really firing on all the cylinders. Excellent effort. Fantastic effort. 21-10 then for Holland 2. And that's going to probably put them up. Pretty high. So Sweden, Holland now. Holland won, of course. The championship favourites. Oh, and that's a nasty drop there by the Swede. And that's a real shame for them. Magnus Samuelsson and uh, Torborn Samuelsson. And there's, the, well, 21.50 then. And that puts the Dutch in the lead. Oh, good effort there from the Swedes, but uh, well beaten by this buzzing favourite side. Oh, there you are. Finland pick up ten points. Holland, two. Get nine out of that. And uh, the Netherlands, one side, pick up eight points. And that's a shame for them because they were expecting something of a clean sweep. 
Well, there's the total points then after two events. Netherlands one in front, pipping Finland by two points. Now, wait for height. We all know about this one. 25 kilogram weight has got to be tossed over that bar. Each athlete's got two throws. And the highest throw of each athlete will be combined to give a team score. And technique here, absolutely vital. It's not just about strength. Well, he's got it over, but has it counted? Yes, it has. And it's important, of course, to get to success here as the English pair get up in the first throw because if you don't, your second throw must be at the same height as your first attempt. Well, here's Heinz Olesch of Germany. He looks pretty confident. And that's why. Very good throw then from the German. No messing there. Oh, goodness, almost down on his own head. Well, let's have another go. This is the uh, last attempt, and this is uh, Yamo Hams. Well, he's done it. So, very successful throw then. Well, it's going up a bit now, and uh, I think this is 890. And this is the last attempt by the Finn. Oh, and he's missed it. That's a shame. Yuko Aula, the world strongest man, the reigning champion, failing there at 4 meters 80. Next up, though, Tibor Metzanos of Hungary, looking for five metres. And that's a shame for him. That's a dangerous weight. Now, Peter Baltus, a Dutchman, actually competing on behalf of the Faroe Islands. And the Regine Vagadal, who started this, is out of this event. And here comes this character, the South African, Gerrit Badenhorst. And he's looking for five metres to make a total of nine metres 40 with him and his stable mate. Can he do it? Oh, almost. <laughs> and he's just the kind of guy who'd stand there and catch that, probably in his teeth. Well, Magnus Samuelsson now, also trying for five metres for Sweden. Oh, and almost gets that one over. And next up, we have Netherlands 1. This is Wout Zylstra, the reigning world champion in this event. And his record is 5.15. Oh, goodness me, look at that. That's a monstrous throw. Well, has he done it? Has he got five metres 60, I wonder? Oh, goodness. Well, it's done it again. So, superb team. Two tremendous athletes going for the Netherlands. Just there. Okay. We measured it 11.20. So, half of that is 5.60, right? So, we are up Well, Magnus from Magnus in there, just explaining the, uh, the intricacies of the scoring system here. Well, this is uh, Ruth Zilstra. He's going for the new world record of six metres. He just got 5.90 there on his throat. This is a world record attempt. And he's done it, the new world champion, the new world record holder, holder for weight for height. And look at him go. Wood Zilstra then, the Dutchman, throws six metres. Incredible. You just broke your record of weight for height. Uh, what's your record now? The record was 50 meters 59, and now it's 50 meters 60. So I broke it with, with, with one centimeter. Uh, maybe I, I do it again, uh, like Bubka, the wait for height, the jumper. 
Still one centimeter. I hope to go to the six meter, but that's impossible, I think. So five meters 60 then for Will Dilstra there, and looking to go as high as six meters. Can he? That's the big question. Well, Holland won, of course, get 10 points for that event, and once again, down near the bottom, the English side picking up three. And there's the total points overall. Holland now with 28. And uh, the streak away now from the Finns in second with 21 and a half. And Holland two, hot on the heels also with 21 and a half points. Well, we've got loads more to come, as you can see. Stay with us. Is Coffee guilty? Yes, he is. Get ready to walk the mile. John Coffee is a murderer. I don't think he did it at all. Tom Hanks, The Green Mile. The strongest there is. your little soldiers safe in the garden. Tonight on British Eurosport, we see no punches pulled. No fancy packaging, no frills, just boxing. Live boxing. From underground events where new talent is breaking through to world title fights. Jabs, ducks, dives and weaves, haymakers and hooks. All the combinations, all the action. Tuesday Night Boxing is live tonight at 8 on British Eurosport. With Echter Nordhäuser. Welcome back then to the World's Strongest Man Team Championships from Holland. And we now continue with the Stones of Strength, one of the most awkward events there is. And we have England against the Faroe Islands to kick us off. Jamie Reeves, 36 years of age, from Sheffield. And here's his compatriot, Bill Pittock. He's 35. And Reeves, World's Strongest Man back in 1989. Europe's Strongest Man in 1990. And Pittock, well, he was the strongest man in England at one time and also winner of the British Muscle Power in 1995 and they are struggling don't forget these uh, stones of strength weigh an enormous amount they start at 110 kilograms and go to up to 160 and this one weighs 140 and it's uh, help is allowed by the way but only when five stones are up well, Jamie Reeves, they're not wishing to uh, push his body through a bit further. This is the Faroe Islands team. And, uh, of course, uh, Regin Vagadal. Uh, 
Uh, this is, uh, so far, a pretty decent time for the Islanders. They haven't, as I said before, got that many men to pick from in the Faroe Islands. And that's a real shame. Well, four seems to be the manageable amount at the moment. Peter Baltus, one of the, uh... well, what a shame. Dutch qualifiers, they're going for the Faroe Islands. Well, they did eight. And that last one that weighs 160 kilograms, not surprisingly causing major problems. And here comes the Hungarian side. And of course, Hungary, you would have thought, don't ask me why, that uh, they would have been good at this. Fekete Laszlo, 40 years of age. And uh, Metzanos Tibor, he's only 36. He comes from Budapest. Three times Hungary's strongest man, Laszlo. And uh, Tibor, well, he played second fiddle. And there we are. That's a pretty good time as well. At least they completed all five, or all ten. Now the Norwegians. Norwegians. Sven Carlsen, 30 years of age, twice Norway's strongest man, seventh in the strongest man in the world, 1997. And he's a national bodybuilding champion, and this is very, very good form. Sterla Davidson, 33, from Trondheim. And he came second in Norway's strongest man competition. But he is the national champion at powerlifting. And I suppose the more goes you have, the worse it gets. Well, five up, they can help each other with this last one. Not necessarily that effective with two men. Oh, no, he's not going to do it. Or is he? Stones of strength. Well, you've only got 90 seconds, that's a minute and a half. So we've got 25 seconds to go. Will he do it? No, he's not. <laughs> Don't blame him. Good effort then from the Norwegians. Well, he's got 10 seconds, well, they're about to have another pop. Let's see if they can, between them, get this up. 10 to go, here can, here, can they do it? Time's against them. They've done it, look at that. Well, three and a bit seconds to go, and they have got all ten stones in place. Now the Germans. The Germans, of course, Heinz Olesch, 31 years of age, a plumber, by the way, by trade. And uh, he actually lives with Iceland's strongest woman. Three times Germany's strongest man. Fourth place in the World uh, Championships, individual championships, that is. And Martin Muir, only 26, and... Uh, He's Germany's strongest man last year. And also the uh, European and World Powerlifting Junior Champion. So they're very happy with that. That's a good time as well. South Africa now. And that first stone looks so easy, doesn't it? Don't forget, it weighs 110 kilograms. That's about 230 pounds. And these South Africans really going for it. Well, Wayne Price being helped now by Geert Badenhorst. That's a very good time. 24.88. Amazing. Why are you so popular here in Holland, Gerrit? I think, uh, you know, people come and watch not only the sport and, you know, the heavy stuff that you pick up and all the roars and all the ha's and the <laughs> anus, you know, in my own language. Um, but I think they're here to uh, laugh also, you know, enjoy some of it. And uh, that's why, you know, I like to, to bring in something extra for them. Well, South Africa, they're picking up uh, a very useful time. Now here we go to Sweden, Magnus Samuelsson and uh, Taborn Samuelsson, 28 and 25 years respectively. And I've got a feeling these two are brothers. 
Magnus, three times Sweden's strongest man. Third place in the World Championships in 97. European arm wrestling champion, by the way, back in 1991. And uh, Torborn, well, he came second in the Sweden's strongest man contest. And here they are helping each other out here. Good time, though. That's not a bad time, 34-10. Well, where will that put them, I wonder? Holland, two. And, uh, well, we've only got to hear the screech from the crowd as soon as these Dutch appear. And this is very, very good work so far from this uh, Netherlands 2 team. Almost fell off there. Oh, and that one, a very awkward one. Geert Gerrits, 33. Got the final of the uh, Dutch strongman competition. And uh, Jano Hams, he's 10 years younger at 23. And he is the strongest man in Holland. And once again, terribly hard work. Will they bother? Well, I've got a feeling at this point they probably decided not to bother helping each other because it's just as awkward. But, uh, well... Looks like Yamo's going to give up there. Yep, Yano Hans then gives up. But that's not bad. Eight stones in 25 and a bit seconds. Now, Finn. Finn land. And this is a very sprightly start by the Finns. Yuko Aula, of course, the world's strongest man. Incredible record. And he's going along with Sammy Heinemann. He's 25. And naturally second place. 34 the viervoudig sterkste man van Nederland. Normaal gesproken eh, vecht je eigenlijk een beetje tegen Wout Zijnerschap. Nu doe je het samen met hem. Hoe is dat? Nou, dat is gewoon omdat, omdat ja? hij, hij op dit moment gewoon de nummer 2 is en de beter is in de, van de ploeg eigenlijk. Ik zo zeggen. En die wil toch met de sterkste team is, uh, met elkaar Ben en Sporten met elkaar en en de Telling Ron Wolstenberg how normally when they compete against uh, his teammate, but uh, just think of the difference between competing against and working with. Um, all these men, of course, stay exceptionally fit. But here comes the team of the moment. This is Netherlands one, Holland one, if you like. And these are the absolute favourites, as I said, for the championship overall. But uh, almost in everything else, they do as well. Unbelievable, this. Baron Venneberg, 34 years of age, and Wout Zilstra, of course, he's 33. And that is incredible. 24-33. Well, it wasn't good enough for top spot. The Finland team winning 10 points there. And uh, once again, disappointingly, England down at the bottom place. But uh, Netherlands, too, only picking up two points in the Stones of Strength. And that's the score after four rounds with... Uh, Holland won on top with 37 points. England, sadly, 30 points adrift at the bottom. But uh, still, bags want to come from Holland. Keep it here. with control blade independent rear suspension. The greatest hits of the 60s. An amazing 8 CD collection. How do you do what you do to me? I wish I knew. 144 of the greatest hits from the sensational 60s. For all my life. Eight CDs, $29.99 plus post and packing. Just call this number now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight CDs packed full of your favorite 60s songs.
Just call this number now. But where do you go to, my lovely, when you're alone in your bed? An exclusive television offer, just $29.99 plus post and packing. An amazing eight CD box set. These are the greatest hits of the 60s, and they're available to you by calling the number on your screen now. Eight CDs, $29.99 plus post and packing. Don't miss out. Order now. Welcome back, then, and we're going to continue the action with the wheel flip. So, referee Magnus for Magnus and gets us underway, then this is the wheel flip. It's a massive tractor wheel. It weighs 800 kilograms and has got to be flipped a distance of 20 meters. And of course, as soon as that wheel touches the line at the end, a whistle will blow. And it's an incredibly difficult task. Don't forget, there is lateral movement as well, which makes it even harder. Of course, both teams working together. This would be impossible, I would imagine, for one man. And the time limit is 90 seconds. Already we've gone past 33, 34, and the English team suffering here. And, uh, well, the Faroe Islands beat them to it. Next up, we have Norway and Hungary. The Hungarian side in the blue. These are the Norwegians. And, uh, well, the Faroe Islands get it in 27.03. Well, it looks like this uh, Norwegian side are going very well at the moment. Hungary starting to feel the pace already. And that's all. Just gets it over the line there. 26.13. Very good time. Oh, and that's a real shame. Well, they did five flips anyway. Don't forget they do count on the count back. Germany against Netherlands, two. And these incredibly well-focused Dutchmen against the Germans. They, too, of course, are well-focused, but they don't have the benefit of having massive support in the crowd. 800 kilograms, that's about 17, hmm, goodness, 1,700 pounds, I suppose. It's big and it's heavy. But this Dutch team, look at this, incredible. Gerd Kheritz and uh, Jano Hans. Ten years between them, and that's a very good finish. 36-18 for the Dutch. Not the greatest time, but they finished it. So did the Germans. Well, here we go then. Sweden versus South Africa. Already the South Africans, they're struggling with the first flip. Teamwork, essential. Balance, essential. Try and omit that lateral movement. If this tyre starts to run away from you, you won't catch it. And that's a very good time for the Swedes. Excellent time for Sweden. 24-69, I think that was. Well, here we go. Finland against Netherlands, one now. And, uh, well, they've got a oh, five-and-a-half point lead coming into this one. And, as you can imagine, the crowd support, so vital. Well, they've fallen behind against the Finns. And, oh, the Finns just crossing the line there before the Dutch. And they'll be very happy about that because this is getting very tight now. They are Finland with ten points. Holland won with eight in third position. And the Swedes coming in second to pick up nine points. And once again, England at the tail end with one. Well, let's just have a look. They are, well, it's getting close now. Dutch team... So that's three and a half points in front of Finland and Sweden with 34 points. They look out of it. So it's a, a real head-to-head -head battle between Finland and the Netherlands won. 
Now, this is the double Hercules hold. Let me just tell you about this. You've got to be, well, they're connected by an iron grip ring and they've got to hold these cars. Each car is 1,800 kilograms in weight and they've got to hold these cars for as long as they possibly can. The best time wins, naturally. And as you can see, these Englishmen have held it so far. Ooh. Well, just over 26 seconds, and that's, once again, a bit disappointing. And these Faroe Islanders, Regin Vagadal, only 27. And, of course, Peter Baltus, who's, uh, well, 19 seconds. Once again, a disappointment. They should be looking at twi twice that, really to stand a chance of winning this event as we go now to the Hungarians. Oh, that is a very, very... Well, the Hungarian obviously has a problem there with that left hand because he let go very, very early. Norway. Norway looking to beat something like 25 seconds at the moment. Sven Carlsen and uh, Sterla Davidson. Carlsen tw twice the uh, strongest man of Norway. And uh, Sterla Davidson became second. Well, mm, not bad, not good. Very difficult event, this one. And this man's done them all. Well, here we go. This is Netherlands 2. And we expect something a bit more special from these lads. Geert Geritz and uh, Jano Hams. And concentration. Trying to uh, block everything else out. Trying to psych themselves up to go through the pain barrier. 24.82. Not bad. Well, let's see if the South Africans can go one better. Geert Badenhorst, of course. The jewel in that particular team. And Wayne Price. Twice. Well, <laughs> twice the South African strongman, Wayne Price. But on this occasion, losing out there. We continue with the Swedes. Magnus Samuelsson and Tavorn Samuelsson. Three times Sweden's strongest man, Magnus. 28 years of age. And Torborn. Well, second place in that uh, Swedish strongest man contest. And this is a good time for the Swedes. This is a very... And uh, look at that. He's very cool. This is psychology. This is mind over matter. And Magnus Samuelsson... So, oh, fantastic time. Look at that. 42-31. Incredible. Finland. Here they go. Let's see what the Finns can do here. They've got a hell of a time to beat. Yuko Awala, of course, the reigning world champion. Normally, yeah. Uh, this was Raikou Kiri, but Kiri injured prior to this event. Good time. And Sami Heinonen. And he came, of course, second to Awala in Finland's Strongest Man contest. This is a good time. 38. That will put them in second, surely. But don't forget, we have the Netherlands first team. Here they are. Well, they look exceptionally cool. Baron Venneberg and Wout Zilstra. There's Venneberg. Seven times the Dutch powerlifting champion. Four times the Dutch strongest man. And he's the world crucifix record holder. So this is a very good event for Venneberg. Well, well, he's the crucifix record holder, but that's not a bad time there. 30, in fact, it puts him in third position. But Sweden walking away with this one at uh, 42 seconds. Quite unbelievable. 
putting everybody else in the shade. And there's the overall positions now. Netherlands won, Holland won if you like, on top with 53, but Finland very, very threatening. Only two and a half points behind. At 50.5, it looks like the Swedes so far will settle for third. Right, here we go then, this one is called the Farmer's Walk. And it's a long construction, six people must be carried as far as possible. And it weighs 500 kilograms. Well, the longest distance will win. And uh, once again, there the English team not faring too well. This is the Faroe Islands. And they've never had any trouble picking up the girls. Don't forget, this is all about distance. They've got to turn a corner and go back again. Oh, well, well, they got round the corner. Regin Vagadal and, of course, Peter Baltus, an honorary Faroe Islander, but he's Dutch. Let's continue with Hungary. 500 kilograms. It's over a thousand pounds. This, uh, ooh, that's uh, interesting. They didn't last too long, did they? And every single one of these exercises designed, of course, to put maximum strain on the various parts of the body. As we go now with the Norwegians, Sven Carlsen and Stella Davidson, of course, pulling for Norway. Well, oh, they just almost made it round the corner. They are 16 and three quarter meters. And that's not a bad distance, in fact, for the Norwegians. As we now go to Netherlands two. How far will they get? Well, not very far at all there. The second team of the Netherlands not getting very far at all, I'm afraid. And they were disappointed with that. South Africa now. And uh, Wayne Price in front. He lives in Pretoria. Twice the strong ma strongest man in uh, South Africa. Fifth place in the World Championships in 95. And here's Barden Horse going round the corner. Four times the South African strongest man. Runner up in the World Championships in 1996. They're round the corner. Can they keep going? This is a good walk so far. Oh, that's a real shame. But well, that looks like it could well be second place at the moment. And they're happy with that. So the farmer's walk then, taking its toll. Well, they're in the money at the moment. Will they stay there? That's the big question. Now we have the Swedes. And uh, Sweden, of course, the Samuelsons. And they are using a different technique here. This is about speed. This is not about staying in the air for too long. This is getting the legs moving as quickly as they possibly can. And they're doing exceptionally well. Oh, that's, well, that's a very, very good time for the Swedes. Uh, distance, I should say, for the Swedes. Well, that might put them... Well, that's going to put them in the money, I think. Finland, next to go. The world champion, Yuko... Awala, only 26 years of age, and Sami Heinenen, and he's only 25. Both men with a great deal of future promise. Excellent walk. This is the farmer's walk. How much further can they go? Superb walking this by the Finns. Fantastic, almost a complete circuit. Oh, bad luck. Well, 45 and a half metres, that is an absolute mile in front of everybody else. That's twice as far as anybody else went, I think, or very close to it. But of course, this is their problem. Netherlands won. Well, <laughs> Netherlands won. Here we go. Magnus, the Magnuson, blows the whistle. Here they go. 
And of course, you don't need me to tell you by now that we have Baron Venneberg and, of course, Wout Zilstra. Venneberg seven times the Dutch powerlifting champion. Zilstra four times the Dutch champion at the Highland Games. Three times runner-up in the strongest man of Holland. In fourth place in the world... Sorry, in the European Championships last year. So here they go. Can they beat that? They, well, they beat most of them. They're looking to cap the Finns. Oh, what have they done? 34-25, not bad there. Not bad at all for the farmer's walk then for the Dutch side. Holland won. Well, Finland, they're getting a very useful 10 points at this stage in the contest. That is going to be crucial. Netherlands won. Picking up nine, looks like it will keep them in front, but my goodness me, it's close. It is very close. And of course, we have one more event to come. We have the power stairs. And there's the, oh, look at that. The overall ranking is only one and a half points now between Holland one and Finland. Sweden looked quite safe in third place. But once again, down the bottom, the English team. Well, power stairs to come. Stay here. That's the one. Bad boy, eh? <laughs> Boy, look at this. Wanted. Bandit. Suzuki. Some songs just sound better behind the wheel. Tracks that make you want to drive simply for the sake of it. And these are the 60 original and best road tracks. They're the greatest drive songs ever written. All on four CDs or cassettes called on the road they're all the songs that'll stay with you however far you're going To get on the road, you buy direct by picking up the phone. For your copy, call now. At Insight, we know great music when we hear it. From the acclaimed director of the Shawshank Redemption. On the day of my judgment, what am I going to say? Tom Hanks. The Green Mile. British Eurosport has a new competition. This is Sports and Families. We're giving away a state-of-the-art home cinema. But first, here's the question. In which sport were Graham and Damon Hill involved? Is it cycling, Formula One or football? British Eurosport is giving you the chance to win a brand new home cinema centre featuring a digital TV and DVD player. So call 0906 614 0021 now and play and win with British Eurosport. Well, welcome back then. This is our final event in the 1998 World Strongest Man Team Championship, and we have the power stairs. Well, Faroe Islands and Hungary are going against each other, and, well, there's not much in that. Let me just tell you what they must do. Three blocks, of course, have got to go up six steps. Each block weighs. The first one, 175 kilograms. The second, 
225. The third, a massive 275. And of course, you can't get that next block up until the lifter comes down and touches the hand of his teammate. Any mistakes are made, like you drop a block or you fall off the stairs, it's a 30-second penalty. And this is all about time. Three blocks up six steps as quickly as you can. Well, looks like the Hungarians are really struggling. And the Faroe Islands doing very well there. For 48-68. And, uh, well, I'm glad to see the Hungarians still going. Good question. Can he get this block another two steps? It weighs 275 kilograms. That must be about 600 pounds, I suppose. Oh, come on. No help, of course, required. Or allowed. Good game effort there by the Hungarian. Next two to go, Netherlands two against Norway. Here are the Norwegians. This first block, 175 kilograms, all about speed. You've got to get it right as well. Technique vital. Well... Netherlands two up first, but uh, he slowed down the stairs. That bad knee, of course, having a major effect on that team. This one weighs a lot. 225 kilograms, that's oof, about 500 pounds, I suppose, in English money. Well, Netherlands two up there already. This time we have Netherlands two with their sick man. He's got a bad knee, remember. Not too bad, of course, on the upstroke, I think. Well, Norway have got two up well. It looks like it might uh, have all come to an end here for the uh, Netherlands two side. He's struggling, but uh, no problems at the moment for Norway. Well, they've switched partners. Just wonder how valid that may be. Don't forget, this is a massive weight. 275 kilograms. Well, he can't do it. There's only 90 seconds and uh, time has run out now. Time has run out for the Holland 2 team. But good effort there. The Norwegians coming home well. Now, Sweden versus South Africa. And uh, these South Africans, both of them, both of them got a very low centre of gravity, may be suited to this. Sweden, though, going very well, very quickly. Nothing between them for the first weight. It's only a baby weight, 175 kilograms. That's, uh, I suppose, by their standards, not a great deal. Sweden, once again, hit top spot first with 225. A quick change of uh, lifter. Bardenhorst in to replace his pal. Well, will Bardenhorst do it, I wonder? Of course, uh, the Netherlands and South Africa have great affinity over the years with each other, which is one of the reasons that this man is so popular. Here, Bardenhorst looking to do it. And strange that Sweden should have quit and it also, every step counts here. Oh, and he's done it. Excellent. Well, and he's... Oh, <laughs> bit of showing off there as well for Barden Horse right at the finish. An extra unnecessary lift, but here are the favourites. This is Netherlands 1 against Finland, and this will be a cracking... I mean, the winner of this event will win the championship. End of story. And that says it all, doesn't it? It's all on this. And who'd have thought it would come down to this? Speed, power, accuracy. Doesn't matter that it's fallen over, it's up there. So, Venenberg with 225, I should say. And he's struggling, he's struggling. And, uh, well, the Finns off first. Well, <laughs> just wonder if Zul Zulstra can do this, it's a terribly, oh goodness me, well it looks like they've done it, Finland have done it. 
And, well, that was a terribly difficult competition. Well, it looks like, in fact, just checking my maths, it looks like, it looks like Holland won, have won by half a point. Can you believe that? 70.5 versus 71. And that looks like it's the final score. Well, I'm just checking that. Yes, it certainly is. So the Dutch team then, the world strongest man team champions for 1998. And that could not have been closer because they won with 71 points. The Finns, a tremendous effort by the Finns. They got 70.5. Well, there you are, Finland winning that last event, and, uh, well, it just wasn't enough to catch Holland 1. An incredible contest right to the very finish, and the Faroe Islands, they're getting in the third spot. And, well, Germany and England down the bottom, and that's a real shame. Well, there you are, there's the confirmation. Holland 1, 71 points, Finland just robbed right at the death there. It was 70.5, half a point behind. Sweden, very comfortable in, in third with 56. And there they are, the Swedes. And as they come up to take their medals and trophies. And that's a good effort. And the Finns, they must be terribly, terribly disappointed. What a superb effort, though, from this Finnish team. But here are the winners and the champions for 1998. Baron Vanneberg and, of course, Wout Zilstra. Excellent effort. They won by just half a point. Incredible. So, a fantastic competition. And I suppose you've got to say, the right men won. It couldn't have been better, could it? Holland won, winning in 1998. Fantastic. I hope you enjoyed the show. Take care. Good night. for